Hello, it's Star Party video by Matthew Scott. You can, anyway, well, we did it, you know, that was my last name. Let me do it. Well, I got another name, though. Well, that's under my fault. Now, let's show you the Dubsonians now. Compare how to use us Dubsonians or how to actually, I mean, like, let's show you tips and tricks. So, anyways. Dubs onion. That's that dubs onion. That's how it moves. And you can lock it in place and eye pieces and that. And you can turn it. Um, that's locked in place but this, this one is locked in place properly though. Um, that's this. That's this one in the front. I turn them. Anyway, it's sort of the same with this one though. Well, that's that one. Anyway, this one, the final. Um, so, instead of the red dot, that one turn left, right, right, left. That one's up, down, down, up. In fact, last one's going on this one though, anyway, like that. So that's that one, and anyway, see that? It's an extendable tube though. So. Let me just expand the tube again and I'll lock it back in place. So now, well that's that one anyway. Well tips and tricks now, well getting to know astronomy. Well basic astronomy would use binoculars and that. Well we've now got this type of telescope that gathers a lot of power. Anyway this would be a star to go and not with a star. I'd say a star to I might just run a telescope, so that means or we'll start a Dobsonian person. Type scope who likes Dobsonian. Anyway, that's that one. Anyway, well, now we get into all that tips and tricks. So, anyway, the first one, all well, tips are whenever you got an uh, uh, item in focus or whatever. Now, how you actually want to look. Well, some people try to put their hand on there. Try not to encourage that. Try not to encourage them to uh, move their hand or move the telescope and put their hand down or something. Well, that's how you move. And what you meant to do is if you're a person, you come and look. That's like that, though. Anyway, the same with this one, but this is more expensive. They're both the same. That cost. Um, this costs about 849 or 859. So you got the mill up. What you're best to do is come up closely. Let's have a look like that. That's this telescope here. Anyway, this telescope. Is actually a, a good telescope, uh, even that one is as well. So anyway, we've got two, or oh, if I had astronomy group, I have two Dubsonians, that would be it, I'd never have. Anyway, these go a lot to power, so don't hold on to the eyepiece when you're looking. It's their job to like adjust that, or be prepared. Anyway, tips and tricks like the brightest stars that are out there, like the brightest evening one, you'll see that it glows and even Mars, like, that's a bright glow and not Mars to Venus. That's a bright, bright glow. And Jupiter, Saturn are white as well, but a bit smaller. And I think Mercury's a bit smaller as well than all of them. But then there's Mars, is the only red dot in our solar system or from Earth we can see, not the red dot that glows, or uh, 
Let's see for about there's five different ones from Earth. Let's see and where the sixth one though. The sixth one is we can see everything close by. It's us. That's Earth. We live on Earth and and that galaxy or whatever. Look for a bunch of cloud up there for a cluster or nebula or whatever you call it. And then just point your phone and have a look. And then have a look. Or even the first thing is. Maybe the moon, other things if you're not, and if you don't think you're safe at night, just buy a telescope, maybe like that. Or what can I in get a sun film or whatever and make your own sun film cap on the fine as well so you can look at the sun. Anyway, this one would be your best bet if you're not sure about going out at night in your backyard. Anyways. Or if you just want to have a look at the moon, that's those two things. Then if it's that one, maybe for the five viewing, if you're a proper amateur astronomer. I'd, I probably will not go too much over a 10-inch telescope just yet. Or maybe not for the next 50 years. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.